This is Nicole. I'm a sociopath. You might recognize her from this clip over here. Where'd you get McDonald's? McDonald's? Give me a fry. This. The gym teacher's trying to- Honey, quiet down there. Need this job. He won't get his hands off this minor ass. Or even this. You know, you remind me of my wife a bit. I want to kill my wife! Either way, you were probably horrified or laughed at the absurdity. But what if I told you that this was only scratching the surface of what this game had to offer? This is Class of 09, a parody, quote, anti-dating sim game, where in a comically exaggerated 2000s America, I got to release my inner bad white girl. Can't tell me what to do. Kim. Facts. A friend and I went into this completely blind. I knew somewhat what I was going to expect, but surely it couldn't have gotten worse, right? My piece of shit gamer brother got us evicted for pirating breakbeat mixtapes. We're moving out of state. Boom! A gunshot! My second Christmas killed himself! His suicide note was stuck to the fridge with a cookie monster magnet. All he wrote on it? Nicole's fault. But whatever. I'm moving. Again. Well, after that bombshell of an opening, it was time for us to see what fun things Nicole was going to face. And one so soon. Hey, yo, you new to this educational prison? I, I could show you around. Like, like a school tour? You want to do that? You up for that? A simple greeting, yes. But he gave me the ick. And I would rather not figure out why. Hey, I've seen your ass around here before. It's my first day. You sure about that? Whatever. All you hot girls look the same. I got them right here. You want to do them with me? They only kind of get you fucked up, but it's good. Do you want to take the perks? I... <laughs> Do you want to start your day off strong? God damn, this school's nothing but rapists and pedophiles. Tell me about it. So, the other guys you gotta watch out for are usually into some form of feet. Nicole! That's it? Ready for that, that, that's <laughs> it? <laughs> that was day one! Huh, cause I like some wild porn here and there. No one cares, just stop. For a nerd, you're not too smart socially, huh? Ugh, you and everyone else at this school. I'm sick of all of it, and I guess oh, you no. won't be on that Did list I, oh, too, no. huh? Did I choose the wrong option? Oh, <laughs> okay, good. Delay Glad. a probable inevitable school shooting. I think that might be the best option. We're not dumb. <laughs> uh, I guess not. You know, you're actually kind of nice. We live another day. That's nice. And so, to prevent this month's mass school shooting, I decided to listen to the weeb. Now, I thought I was being considerate. That ended up being the worst possible thing that could happen. All I'm saying is, be inclusive. Give people a chance. Give people a chance. You're actually really pretty. Nope. Is this the bad route? No, no, no. It just feels like I just chose a bad ending unintentionally. I'm just delaying the inevitable. I think this does feel like a bad route, yeah. Maybe you shouldn't let the school shooting happen. <laughs> Maybe that wasn't the worst way things could have ended up. What a moral quandary you found yourself in. Should we play this out? We're playing this out. We're too far deep into this already. Might as well see Be how cool things too. go. Being nice just traps you into these hostage friendships. Socializing honestly kind of sucks now. If I try to escape now, he'll just stalk me. Don't be so cynical. He'll probably just murder you. And so, out of fear of death, we begrudgingly continued. She's been down the being nice rabbit hole since spring break. It's like you know they want to fuck, but they won't just ask so you can reject them and put an end to the friendship. You need to have some kind of limit. I'm wondering How myself too. How can I break too. who and who not to hang out with when they're all equally shitty to me? Are you suicidal? Yes, very. Yeah, me too. Same. Well, if you're suicidal, just go home and kill yourself. Then he's the asshole. True, yeah. Oh my god! Quite the extreme actions here. I can either oh go to the concert or I die. Um. I think both of them are the bad route. You know, we're in too deep. I feel like this is the way out. <laughs> Holy shit. What's the worst that can happen? All those times I took you out and you had the nerve to have sex with everyone but me! Yeah, me too! If I knew you were easy, I would've tried more when I took you out! Who's Somebody he? steal her backpack! <laughs> yeah, we gotta get our money back somehow! I didn't fuck anyone! What's the matter? I don't well, like see, his tone. I don't like I him immediately. Before, yeah, so they all suddenly want to kill me because I won't have sex with them. So sexual frustration. But what provokes that? Hormones? Teasing. Are we being a tease? He's an Nicole? incel. Is he trying to blame us? <laughs> Don't deflect. The faculty can't hang themselves over protecting one amorous girl now, can they? I can. Is that a... They're considering expulsion for all the times you skipped. 
If they expel you from there, you're expelled from this home. Fuck this, I'm done. Don't be mean, don't judge, be open. That only works when men don't want to have sex with you. And one day, if you're a nice enough girl, you'll end up just like me. Oh. And just like my dad. Yep, I imagine how that would end. For reference, this was the first 20 minutes of playing the game. Turns out I got the real, authentic Class of 09 experience. In hindsight, I realized that the reason why Nicole died is because we decided to listen to Nicole's mother, only for it to backfire terribly with her blaming us in the end. Me and Nicole, we didn't do anything wrong, and we got completely shit on as a result. No one was on our side. Not the principal, not Nicole's mother, not Jekka, and absolutely not the guidance counselor. Allies, what's that? We're living on our own terms from now on. So if they're gonna try to screw us over, we are gonna do it first. Our first playthrough, she hung herself twice and almost killed herself in the other one. All of which happened within the span of like, say, 20, 30 minutes. Forget the pain of yesterday and embrace a new tomorrow of what else this can have in store. I think we have the strat now, and the strat is to literally not give a shit about anything. And that starts with fixing our most crucial mistake. Hey, what are you cripples doing? Finding new things to cut yourselves with? Make yourself useful and kick his ass for me. You're hot enough to listen to, sure. Oh, please no, <laughs> okay. not in the face. My glasses are- Hey, how you doing? Uh, just coping. Coping with what? Just the power I have as a girl. See, she knows! Exactly. The feminist seminar. But seriously, like, why aren't we consciously using this to our advantage? I figured out that if you just don't engage with other people's emotions or desires, nothing's a burden. People, especially men, are the perfect pawns when you don't give a fuck about them or whatever they want. Honey, that sounds a little mean-spirited, don't you think? This isn't cosmetics class, Nicole. I'll be done in like two seconds, just calm down. Now, Nicole? Can't tell oh, me what boy. to do, fuck no, him. Nothing. Facts. Don't... How would you like a visit to the counselor's office? No, the no, no, no. The <laughs> office? So fuck photography. Yeah, pretty much. You shit talking Mr. White? Yeah, he probably deserves it. Did you guys get an invite to Kelly's pool party? Yeah, and her pool stuff is sick. They what are you, 10? Whatever, <laughs> just a little fun on the side while we'll picking up bitches. I've been here for a year and never once heard of someone having sex with you. Remember freshman year with Jenny Fillmore? She was unconscious, how do you still brag about that? You're like the reason they have women's college. <gasps> okay, old news, whatever, oh, you have invites yeah. or not? Can I tag along with you guys? You know where photography is? The dark room has a whole bunch of really delicate and expensive equipment. Make a video of you just destroying that shit. Then everybody can watch it at the party. Fine, you're on. See you there this weekend. <laughs> yeah, making friends. I hate this man so much, but I love the way he just hypes himself up whenever he walks away from a conversation. <laughs> yeah, that was me. Nailed it. What the fuck? How'd you get in here? There's no lock on the doors. Every boy with a crush on you should pay top dollar for these prints. You won't convince me otherwise. I gotta stop this from being developed. This shit always manages to pop back up in the future. I really hope there's a bomb threat tomorrow. Hey, Nicole. Here it comes. Did you see what happened to the photography room? Wait, what? There's a big crowd up there. It's all in pieces. Don't play dumb. It's obvious it was you. Wait, I didn't break anything. No one else had anything close to resembling a motive. Hey, Miss Lynn, sorry. There it is. I was waiting for him to come in. Late again. Nicole? Hey, I did the video. You better make good with that pool party plus one. Yo, what's up? This is <laughs> oh, my man. lord. We manipulated another oh man. My God. Nicole, leave my office. Kyler, could I have a word with you? With the photo destroyed, everything was back to normal. But if there's one thing I realized from this incident, from my own personal experience, it's that those school locker rooms back in the day were not secure at all. Having trouble, Nicole? You can't be in here. Saw you were lagging behind. I thought you might need a spare shirt. Oh, thanks. You're feisty. I like that about mm. female students. Look at you, you're mature enough. <laughs> okay. And this is the correct option. Ah! The gym teacher's trying to- Honey, quiet down there. I need this job. He won't get his hands off this minor ass. I'm almost happy our gym teacher was a pedophile. I'm definitely happy our gym teacher was a pedophile. Do you see all this cool shit we bought? Hey. Yeah, the settlement money is pretty nice. So we skipped the potential dating the gym leader to now dating the jock. An improvement, yes, but- Yeah. It's Kyler, my dude. It is. I don't like Kyler either. 
But <laughs> in the tier list, he is probably one of the lowest slots for me, and there is literal pedophiles in this story. Skyler's an idiot. Wait, no. He, okay, never mind. I take that back. He is a potential rapist. No, not even potential. I'm pretty sure he is one. Yeah, he's a benzosexual. That's what it was. I forgot about that. But at the same time, he is extremely dumb. Yes. You know what? We'll go with him and see how much money we can get out of him. That is awesome. All these girls always freaking out over whatever, but you, you want to try like going steady? So how about it? You want to date? Play around with this leverage. I'm feeling it. You're feeling the evil? No. Just like that? Give me a chance, dude. Impress me or die trying. I want a guy who's not afraid to ruin his life for me. And when I see that, I'll know you're worth dating. I don't know. Lost interest, huh? Good, nice talking. But I'll do it. All right. What? I'm gonna do some amazing shit to make you love me. You're so worth it for sure. Aw, if I didn't have PTSD, I'd be blushing right now. Just letting you know you're, you're always welcome. <laughs> take my key, take it, take my key. Okay. Look at the key moving, oh my God. Now, Nicole, just because he made a mistake or two doesn't mean he would actively spy on the girls' locker room. Why do you feel the need to be pessimistic? Mm. Oh, my lord. We're in deep already. Sorry, sir. I guess I get flustered around dominant male authority figures. <laughs> I saw the way you looked at me. God, he's like I've a horny Mr. Rogers. Been at me since you got to this school. We could spend the rest of the afternoon together. The evening, too. Scream and get another one fired. I mean, it worked well for us. Help! You got another guy trying to date minors in here! Okay, calm down. Forget I said anything. Nicole, why are you screaming? He literally just invited me over to fuck. Excuse me, is this true? Uh, well, I didn't use the F word. It's like every Amazing evening. defense. Security! Amazing. Yes, principal, anything you say can and will be used against fuck! you in... No! This is all your fault, you fucking whore! Oh, shit. Wow, that was mean. Today was the school bake sale. Apparently, you picked the worst day to ask a student out. Hey, Nicole! Look! On the roof! Oh, shit! Oh! oh. oh. Kyler, get down from there! Oh, I will. I'm gonna jump for you, Nicole! Holy shit! So I'm gonna stick the ultimate landing! One girl isn't worth the rest of your life. If I stick the landing, I won't be hurt at all. Saw it on my space. Oh my God, stop him, Nicole. Why? He's got it figured out. I He's got it. I pedophile arrest and a student attempting suicide in one week. Really need to keep this job. Fine. Uh, Kyler? What? Pretend to care so he definitely jumps. <laughs> oh, man. We gotta keep going. If you jump... I'll be your girlfriend for sure. And if we're still together in two years, I'll marry you after graduation. Oh no, I feel like I chose wrong. I chose oh, wrong. Man. He's gonna this live is... this. What the fuck are you doing? Oh, sick. Here goes nothing. Oh, he really oh, jumped. Ah! Oh shit. Ow. Oh my God. I'll have to call his parents. How severe is it? But I don't think you'll ever walk again. Yeah. Let's go. But lacrosse. Oh, Will you be able to play lacrosse? Well, if you can't walk. Oh my God, Nicole, Nicole. What? I'm right here. I don't think I'll be able to support us as a pro lacrosse player anymore. We'll figure it out together, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man. Both options are very good. Ah. Uh... <laughs> I love this shit already. Sorry. Sorry. I only date men who can walk. What? Sucks to be you, dude. <laughs> Goodbye. Man, we're on a roll. Did you egg him on? No. <laughs> Not really, maybe. <laughs> I just got off the phone with your principal and he was oh. dead 20 minutes ago. Oh my god. I forgot to go to his house and steal his Percocet. His parents probably threw it out by now. Hey, do you guys know where the janitor's closet is? I'm trying to sell him something. Sorry, I, I don't know anything. Yeah, I couldn't tell you. Bye. Hey, anime kid, do you know? Uh, I'm sorry, I'll go. There you are. Hey, why is everyone avoiding me? This uh, actually might be the best. The on the street is you manipulated Kyler into killing himself. I barely did anything. My God, don't get defensive. I'm on your side like half the girls are. That's all we need. He didn't even know me. Exactly. Look, I know it's bad because he's dead or whatever, but like he was an asshole. The world's better off. True. I don't disagree with you. Hi, Nicole. 
could I ask you something? Yeah, ask her anything. Uh, we're kind of asking. Okay, Jack. Right? Uh, oh, well, I was just wondering if it's okay if I put my hair up like yours. Do what you want. Awesome. Thanks. Bye. You got to do something. We are a role famous. model now. Just like YouTube famous. Come on. Okay, so we got rid of the problems. Let's just make more money out of this. But I am curious in the last option, though. Dave, I want to see both. <laughs> it sounds like you're having fun. Call over the weird nerdy kid. He's next! Jeffrey, you're a smart boy, right? You do all my homework and slip me every test answer, and I won't force you to kill oh. yourself. Uh, of course, I'll get right on it. I don't believe what I just saw. Yeah, I don't believe it either, but there's no way this will last. So, oh, that was the ending. stuck with that deal all the way to the end of graduation. Special thanks to lacrosse. Good ending, good ending. <laughs> Gaslight gatekeep girl boss for the win. As for the other ending... Eight months later, I'm kind of a big deal on YouTube. The first video we did went viral in like a week. Class of 09 was something all right. And I only showed just a condensed version of Nicole's antics, showing only a few of the 15 endings. So go play for yourself. Believe me, there's quite a lot left. I see Class of 09 as a cheap thrill ride. It's edgy, unfiltered humor with the intent of virality. Sure, it's over-exaggerated for comedy, but I don't doubt that this shit happens. So if there's one thing that I learned from Class of 09, it's to not be afraid to release your inner bad bitch. Just don't become a cultural phenomenon in the process.